Let's learn how to create a new FPGA project from scratch. I'm going to begin by creating a folder where all of the project files will reside. I'll just give this the name FPGA project. Of course, you should use a folder name that makes sense for your particular project. Let's get into lab view and select file new. And then there's a number of ways of doing this, but I'm, I'm going to use empty project. I'm then going to save the project explorer file to that same folder that I created earlier. And I'll, I will use the same name as the file folder. These are the files that have been created so far. Next, select the project, and then we're going to add a new target. We're looking for existing target or device, and we would like to discover this. This particular uh, example is based on the MyRio. And give it a little time to find it, and then select OK. You should select whatever is your particular academic Rio device. You can see that it has added the NI My Rio. It's also added the FPGA target and all the various resources that are available to you. I often rename my target device a little bit. I'll just call this simply the NI My Rio 1900. And you can minimize some of the resources that you're not using right now. And then I'm going to select my FPGA target and then right click and select new VI. Let's do a control save on that right away and I'll give it the name of FPGA main. This is what it would be your top level VI. Let's go ahead and edit the icon for this. The icon text will be FPGA main. And then I'm going to delete the existing artwork and I'll just leave this blank. So I have simply uh, just FPGA main. The asterisk indicates that the project has not been saved recently. Let's go ahead and do control S and save it.